Hi, uh, I'm Harit Doshi. I'm here at the Yamamoto Lab from uh, Smonia University from uh, Japan. Yes. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. And can you tell me a little bit about what you're showcasing here? Ah, uh, uh, this is a floating image. Yeah. Floating visual and thermal image we form. A thermal image? Yes. So if I so I see the fire here, right? So if I try yes. to catch the fire, even though oh, it feels warm. Yeah. So, wow. So we it's like a really a thermal image. So I can... Yes. Wow, and this snowflake feels colder. <laughs> wow, how do you do that? Can you tell uh, me how you how do yes. you do that? Uh, these images formed with beam slitter and retro reflectors. Okay. Uh, it performs a wide viewing angle and large scale area image with uh, rather low cost. And this summer image is yeah. formed with uh, heat source and uh, little, uh, vertical and horizontal reflectors. Okay. And the heat radiations are locally converge to this position. I by, see. By placing the thermochromic screen, then these part are these positions. I see. So it's, yes. it's hard to capture in camera what uh, we yeah. were seeing, but if you put the film here, you can actually capture yes. so what, what we're feeling here, right? Which is the you can see impression that. of a thermal image, right? Yes. Or, wow. Look at that. This portion is just locally heated. That's pretty cool. <laughs> excellent, excellent. What else uh, you have here? Uh, another one is uh, uh, this is a uh, aerial imaging uh, illumination. In this case, we place a single layer, single LED stripe, uh -huh. and uh, these are face beam splitters. Then it has uh, multiple reflections. So. The light source is single, but the uh, area image is multiple. Oh, I see, yeah. In the dark room, there are, it forms uh, uh, six or seven... Vertical uh, images? Area, yes. So you, you're being able to, using that, uh, you, you're, you're actually showing the LEDs projecting vertically, yes. right? Yes. So this How? is uh, expected to use uh, uh, to, for casino or something and so on to give the impression to some sensation. I see. Yes. So it's like for a show or something where yes, you can create yes. a virtual environment yes. where the LEDs, even though they're on the yes. floor, but it creates like you have a we, cylinder of LEDs projected up. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Excellent. And this is a yeah. simple 3D technique. Yeah. By using single LED, uh, but you can see the 3D image with motion parallax smooth motion parallax. The secret is that we we have the scratching. Yeah. Uh, it has an arc and the arc has a directional scattering. I see. I see. Yeah, I can see the three. It's a smiley, it's a smiley face, right? Yes. That moves okay, back and forth. And then uh, I see a display uh, weak uh, <laughs> projection. That's pretty cool. Yes, T tell you. us how you're doing that. Yes, uh, this is our uh, uh, Imaging technique, area display technique. We call this area Air. image okay. by retro reflection. Yeah. So this is a consists of three parts: light source and light source and retro reflector and beam splitter. Just these components. Yeah. And it performs a wide viewing angle. I see. Mm. Perfect. Uh, Yamamoto-san, this has been a pleasure. Uh, thank you very much for thank showcasing you. what you have and good luck uh, with the Aizen show. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Very much. Thank you.